we've uh, got Dr. Sunila Garg. She is the Director and Professor for Community Medicine at Maulana Azad Medical College. Uh, more importantly, she's an advisor at ICMR and member of the Delhi COVID-19 Task Force. Ma'am, I believe it's been a busy day for you. It's been a day when uh, all the dry runs had to be conducted and you have been keeping very busy. But I have to begin by asking you about some of the concerns at this time when it comes to the ICMR backed by bi Bharat Biotech vaccine as well. Just for the benefit of our viewers first, the interim findings of phase one trials, for example, for Covaxin said that it induced an immunity response and registered no serious side effects. Phase two data also talked about how it has tolerable safety outcomes suggesting that antibodies will persist, but that might happen maximum to 6 to 12 months. But the fact that phase 3 has not been conducted, the question is, is the vaccine at this moment by Bharat Biotech both safe but also effective? Yeah, I would like to add at this juncture, I closely reviewed the whole process of the vaccine in phase one and phase two. Mm -hmm. So together when this data was put to the expert committee and in several committees, so it was, you know, viewed in terms of total thousand, just about thousand individuals. Before we entered into, we took the permission for entering into phase three. Mm -hmm. So at that time, you know, out of 26,000 volunteers, somewhere, you know, around 17,000 volunteers have been recruited. And it is estimated that, you know, the uh, efficacy of this vaccine somewhere, you know, after giving two doses at the interval of 28 days is going to be, you know, around 60%. But what makes us more... About 60%. About, did I hear yeah, you correct there? Which is a That's good, the internal good assessment at the moment, but the efficacy has not been established. Yeah, basically, you see, what we have to see is that if the vaccine is having uh, this much, you know, and we are giving, you know, 60%, we are looking at that. So we mm. are uh, looking for a vaccine also which will give us this much um, efficacy. Mm. And also we need to look at that, that it has to be fairly safe vaccine. And what gives us a strong backing is that, that this is, ICMR is along with that, along with National Institute of Virology. Mm. And we have got uh, the experts and the researchers, which mm. are, you know, closely monitoring all the phases of this vaccine. That means mm. that's why we went from phase one to phase two very, very quickly. Mm. And we saw no side effects at any stage. Mm. So that is where it makes us more confident. And mm. it's a, another thing which you have to remember is that this is an inactivated vaccine. Mm. So that Could you means explain that to taking... our viewers? Uh, inactivated vaccine means this is not a live vaccine. Hmm. So that means when we are giving this vaccine, there are not any major side effects or we are, this vaccine is fairly safe. Hmm. So you see, the, when the vaccine... From that I understand. Safety is not yeah, being questioned vaccine, at this point. It's the effectiveness against COVID-19 that is under question. Yeah, but then the effectivity also is somewhere going to be around 60%, which you have to remember that hmm. we cannot say at this juncture that, you know, it's going to be 80% or 90%. As of now, we are presuming that, you know, other, um, the initial studies are also shown. Hmm. And in phase two trial also, they tried to look at the effectivity part also along with safety in this okay. particular case. Hmm. So, you know, when two doses are given, and, and let me explain you when this virus now, uh, when this inactivated vaccine is given, hmm. it leads to the production of antibodies which are effective, you know, against the virus because it's a whole cell virus which we are hmm. giving, you know, inactivated virus which is being injected. Hmm. So, uh, that is, uh, I, I uh, ultimately the antibodies start, um, and, uh, you know, happening at the period of about... Sure. Uh, middle of Mark, can, I, can I ask you this then? That at the moment, of course, there is no doubt about the fact that to inoculate a country the size of our country, we need more than one vaccinations to be there by just by the sheer amount of uh, jabs that w are going to be required. At the moment, what is the preparation like for Bharat Biotech? How many uh, vaccination dosages are available at the moment? You see, when we look at this, uh, we have got almost about 60 million doses with the uh, of uh, uh, the initial vaccine, which is of uh, COVID shield, hmm. and somewhere around this, because the manufacturing of Bharat Biotech hmm. is proven without doubt. 
because mm. you see we are all also having the this manufacturing with from bharat biotech with regard to different other vaccines mm. so manufacturing as per as the number of doses are concerned i mm. will not be able to comment upon as to how many doses have been mm. manufactured right now and they are there with them mm. but i am sure of the capability that you know because we are in the uh, manufacturing phase because of the trials also trials mm. are already going on amongst you know 17000 right. individuals we have already covered so right. vaccine doses are available but so i feel that you know more than one jab is uh, one thing which is the need of the hour mm. second is that this is our own indigenous manufacturing mm. it is more you know easy within the reach of people and then it's a fairly safe vaccine because it's sure. an inactivated vaccine all right so all eyes on 11 o'clock tomorrow let's see what the drug controller has to say about these questions and whether or not both bharat biotech and the oxford uh, vaccine by astrazeneca and the serum institute get that approval thanks for joining us uh, for the moment ma'am